Hey, hello fellow white shavers, Brian here with the White Shave Experience. Welcome to today's shave. In today's shave, we will be using Moon Soap's Tobacco Flower, along with the matching splash, or not splash, the matching balm that goes with that. They do not make a splash. They have an alcohol-free balm. I'm gonna be using the Carb uh, Gladys handle again on the C plate. I think my plan, somebody asked me about how does a C compare to the D. So I have the D plate, so I think I'm gonna use the C today and then I'll use the D tomorrow. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've used the D. Uh, we have a random King Shave brush, which again, I don't think he's making brushes anymore, but I will link his Instagram in the description. And then we are all lathered up in the bowl. So this is a soap, it is, I'm sorry, excuse me. It is a cream, not a soap. Um, it is pretty soft. And I think those of you that maybe that are probably familiar with uh, moon soaps, they have like, I don't know, I think three different bases. Um, Amaretto is a cream. Um, the other ones are soaps, but then within, I think between, I don't know which is which union, and Old School and Havana and um, Sorrento. There's two different, I think, soap soaps there. And this is a cream, but it's softer than the Amaretto cream, at least um, from what I can tell. I was able to scoop it out really, really easy, spread in my bowl really, really easy. So it's definitely more um, or softer than Amaretto, although Amaretto is still softer than a typical soap. So. Um, there is that really cool label. Uh, they got the side label going on. Moon Soaps has some fantastic artwork. It's just um, really cool looking. And I thought the carve kind of matched the color theme for the day. And so the so the um, well, let's get uh, let's get started here. I'm gonna wet the face. All right, so we will get started. Hope everybody is having a good week so far. It is only Tuesday. Yesterday was my son's fourth birthday. Uh, we did our little, those of you that caught yesterday's video, you may have skipped it. But um, we did a little celebration on Sunday, which really was just family, <laughs> meeting us and then my mom. And, uh, so the best we could, he didn't seem to mind. He got cupcakes and toys, presents, and uh, he seemed just fine with that. So, and yesterday I took a half day off work in the afternoon, spent the afternoon with them playing, took him to the park. And now he's four. So there we have it. My daughter's birthday is coming up in March here in a couple weeks. So two birthdays pretty close together. All right, as far as the scent on this goes, um, scent is green tobacco, oak moss, amber, rosemary, and lavender. So this is a very, um, they call a fresh and invigorating scent. I'd have to agree it is very fresh. Um, it is not, I got some, some lather in my nose. I can feel it. Uh, it is not a pipe tobacco uh, type of scent. So you're not gonna get that, that smoke, that pipe for that cherry or any of that um, type of scent. It is the tobacco flower itself. So it is, um, a much much fresher scent than that all right so by the way uh the channel has grown uh quite a bit lately so i appreciate the new subscribers uh, we did do the giveaway last week so if you haven't watched all of last week's videos give them a give them a view and i think you'll find that uh, maybe you're a winner if you haven't watched it. So I will give, I've already heard from, I gave away three different things in three different videos. I have heard from one of the winners, uh, which that's been shipped off. And so I'm still have not heard from the other two. So um, if they do not contact me within a week, I will redraw for those prizes. 
Oh, and I am using a Gillette, sorry. There's a first use Gillette Platinum blade in here. I'm not sure that I've used, I'm not very good at keeping track of which blades I've used. I've, <laughs> I have, <laughs> so I bought like a sampler pack and this is what all my blades are in. And it's like, just like chock full. I need to get a better organization system for, for my blades. There's stuff in there I haven't used yet. There's stuff in there that I've used one blade out of. Uh, there's blades that have spilled out of the packages. I know it's terrible. Those, I, and as, as OCD as I am with my soap and my splash and matching and everything, I got that mess going on. So those of you that are o o uh, OCD with organization, you're probably cringing right now. So anyways, the scent on this is um, very clean and fresh. I don't really get the lavender much. The rosemary I think is there, but it's not very prominent. Which for me is good. I don't like too much um, kind of herb scent. For me personally. And this uh, Gillette Platinum Blade seems to be working pretty well in the car, actually. Now, I don't know, part of that's just, I've gotten a little bit better with the carve. Or not. All right, let's wet the face. This is just plain water in here. Um, I do try to link things in, in the description. I linked that, I just got that off Amazon. It's a few dollars. I think it's like six or seven dollars. But I like it's a continuous sprayer. So it kind of wets the face evenly. I saw um, Chris CDB use it and uh, picked one up and I like it. I like using it. So when my kids haven't stolen it, and it's not missing from my countertop, I will, I will use it. So this is a nice little knot on here. It's, I don't know what size it is, pretty small, but um, it's a tuxedo knot, synthetic, so it works just fine for me. Those of you that are newer to the channel, you'll find that I don't have a lot of a lot of brushes at this point, and um, nor do I have a ton of razors yet. I'll throw that caveat out there. Most of my brushes uh, are synthetic, just kind of where I chose to spend my initial funds are on the uh, the soaps, so. There we have it at some point. I think I'll probably dive into the, the brushes. All right, here we go. Cross the grain. Okay, I'll hear quite a bit of feedback there. But the C plate's really comfortable. I think still the B plate for me is where it's at. Um, this is just slightly positive. This is right. This is the first plate that you get some positive blade exposure. Although I don't have the specifics in front of me, but or or off the top of my head either, for that matter. So B, you still get you get I think neutral blade exposure. I think A might actually be negative blade exposure. I don't know that the C plate is that much more efficient than the B plate. And I think for me, I'd probably just settle, not settle, I don't wanna say settle, but probably would um, default to the B plate just because it's slightly more comfortable. Not by much. But the trade-off of efficiency versus comfort isn't enough 
probably to make the C plate my go-to plate. But that's just me. I don't have particularly thick hair, um, thick beard growth, uh, nor do I have particularly thick or coarse hair. So, um, so the scent is really nice. Um, like I said, it's, uh, it's clean and fresh. It is definitely not your tobacco vanilles or your grandpa's den or study type of scent. It's hard to it's hard to describe. I don't know if you I mean if you haven't smelled tobacco flower, but I mean it's got oak moss in it, but yeah, it's just clean and, and I forgot to. Let's do that, even after the fact, with the face. So I think tomorrow I'll use the D plate. It's been a while since I've used it, but one of the viewers asked about the D versus the C. So um, you do get even more blade exposure with the D. I have used it in the past, but man, it's been a while. Um, I kind of just reverted and, and, and was enjoying the B and the C, so but we will give that a go tomorrow. This cream is, um, you know, provided a nice thick and um, cushioning lather despite being a cream. So those of you that are worried about, oh, it's a cream, we're not gonna get as good of a lather. I don't know, um, to me, and then I have a bunch of lather left and I didn't even use that much so or the cream. Um, to me, it works just as well as any soap. I don't know what they do to it. I know they, from what I've read, um, they kind of use a soap or a cream or a base, um, and it's kind of driven by the scent in a sense, because I think they're cooked or made differently. And so... I think they try to maximize whatever scent notes they're going for. And I think certain bases lend themselves better to certain scents. That's kind of my understanding. I could be wrong. So there must be something about the cream with the scent that they were going for with this um, allowed it to come out better or presented better than, in, than maybe they could make with the soap. So if you were looking for a just fresh, clean scent, and this is six ounces of soap. So I got this from the Handlebar Supply, actually. Um, and I think they have free shipping over 35 or 45 bucks. So I picked this up in the Mammoth. So you probably maybe saw the unboxing video and I finally got into this. So those of you that saw my unboxing video from last night, I'll get to that after I get to this last unboxing video of soaps um, or creams. So anyways, um, but you do get six ounces of soap in here. Um, so you get quite a bit, about two ounces more for about the same price as a lot of artisans are charging for four ounces these days. So I do a weird kind of hybrid third pass on the mustache. I don't do the full typical Fool's Pass. And then I have some funky hairs growing on my neck, so I just do some different angles to try to pick those up here on the third pass. So plenty of cushion with this soap, or this cream. <laughs> Keep wanting to say soap. No problems at all. 
Well, the slickness, it took, took a good amount of water. I wouldn't say it's thirsty necessarily, but was able to handle, handle a decent amount of water. Probably could have pushed it even more. This area right here is always funky. This is the funkiest area right under there and there. Okay. All right, my rinse the face. I think we got no nicks, no scratches, no cuts, nothing. fresh, clean, wash to the Lancaster towel. Those of you that are interested, there is a drop this Saturday. Maybe I should selfishly not say anything. I'm just kidding. Um, I do want to pick up at least one more. This actually, when I got this, I got this on the last drop and this was the only color that was left, was the white. I had forgotten about it and it was, we got busy and Jumped on there and was fortunate enough to grab this one. It's a bit of a luxury, but it's a fantastic luxury. They're not that expensive and they're just so soft. All right, let's um, grab the bomb. I will say that I, I do prefer a splash over a bomb. Um, that is the only um, thing about moon soaps that I would I would change, but I'm not the artisan and I'm sure they're not gonna change. But I mean, the bomb is good, don't get me wrong, and I will use it. I think they fixed their um, their sprayer top. So on the ones that I have, it comes out super fast and shoots out so fast that when it hits your hand, it kind of splatters out. So this one um, comes out and does not do that. So that's nice. Yeah, very, very fresh and clean. If you want something that's fresh, clean, this could be up your alley. I like it. And there we have it. All right, thanks for tuning in folks today and um, hope you enjoyed the shave. I know I did, it was a Good shave today. No nicks and no cuts. So I'll chalk that up to a success and uh, we'll see you soon on the channel.